and today we are coming to talk about a very sensitive topic that is why you must share share talk against the last person in your dm so the topic is a lot of people that are compromising whom they are just to please those around them but there is something i want you to get this afternoon that is those you are trying to complete those you are trying to please those you are trying to compromise your your plan you are you are trying to change how you you have planned things just to please those around you but i'm here to alert you that just check your life from first january till today all those people that you decide to change few things about your life few plans that you had for your life you decided to change the plan just to please those around you you decided to change all the aspirations all the plans you had for your life from 2019 that you used to enter 2020 look at how you did you you've totally changed your line of course i know you are changing it just to please that that man you are changing it then just to please that lady but there is one thing you have to know and that is whether you try changing whom you are to please that person or not no matter what you do people will always get issues with you so in case you are now planning to compromise you are now planning to change or you are now planning to skip your good values to bad ones just to please somebody or just to please a particular group of people that you you feel they will help you then just stop it now yes because a lot of people are living fake lives because they've decided to compromise they have decided to change their standards just to meet other standards they have decided to lower their standards to a level that they feel that they are doing it to please some people around them. But do you know something? You can decide to compromise or you can decide to lower your standard to the lowest person that you feel will help you. But those same people, you will see those same people, you know, insulting you, those same people accusing you anytime you go down. Anytime you try uh, something and then you failed. You will see those people that you intended to compromise or lower your standard to meet them. Those same people will come hailing at you. That is why you must not try to lower your standard to meet any or any other person. Just be you. If you had plans to do a particular thing, if you had plans to go uh, start a particular business or maybe you had plans to do something in your life, don't lower the standard just because you feel that people are accusing you. You feel that people wouldn't like what you want to start. You feel that maybe you are graduate and then you are done with school and there's no job. Okay, then you find yourself into a business that you are getting so much money in it. Of course, you get a lot of people that will tell you that this particular thing you've started, you are you are a graduate. You have degree, you have masters, and why do you want to lower your standard to the level of, you know, excuse me to say, to the level that they feel is not good for you? You have to know one thing about humans. Until you believe in what you, you, whom you are, or what you are doing, no one else will believe in you. Okay, you must believe in yourself first. That is why you must not compromise or you must not change or lower your standard to please people. Don't feel that what you are doing, people are insulting you. Don't feel that what you are doing, other people feel that you are too high to do what you are doing. But you are doing it and so you find them insulting you. You find them saying a lot of things about you. Because of that, you would want to change or switch to a different thing that you don't find yourself doing. My sister. If that is what you've started doing, then we have just cut it right now because there'll be a time that you start living a fake life that nobody, you know, would recognize. Yes. Let's say you are a man of God. Okay. And then you have a lot of people around you. You know that you are on the right lane. You know that what you are doing or how you are leading your, your members, you are on the right path. Then all of a sudden you see somebody come into the picture the person coming in to tell you a different thing that is outside the, the, the way the Bible wants you to lead the church. Do you think that it is necessary to listen to that person? No, because if only you want to keep the standard that you've started with, if only you want to be you, 
then you must cut off some people. You don't have to, you know, compromise your good attitude with bad ones just because people are insulting you. People will always talk. People will always have things to say. People will always have other issues about you. Of course, nobody is a perfect person. We don't have any per perfect being in this earth or in this world. Okay, we don't have any perfect being in this world or on this earth. That is why you must be you. Don't try to change whom you are because you feel that people are insulting you. Maybe you're a young lady, you are done with the university, you don't have a job, you don't have a white colored job that you claim you wanted to get after school. And you've decided to start a business that is catering for your needs. Then all of a sudden you, you realize that people are telling you that you are too big for this business. So why did you went to the university? Afterwards, you are, you are back home and then this is the business you want to do. And you've wasted your money and all that. My sister, my brother, in case somebody tells you that, what you are doing or the business you are into the business you are getting money from you are wasting your time doing it sweetheart close your close your ears because people will always talk yes In, on this earth no matter what you do you get a lot of people telling you issues you get a lot of people telling you things that are not right but you must close your ears you must not compromise your your good attitude to you know switch you 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 decide to change your your good attitude to a bad one so that people will stop talking about you meanwhile you know that you know deep down in your heart that that attitude or whatever you're about to start is against you know the will of god but you want to do it because you want to please people there are a lot of people that are living fake lives because they've decided to what change the real them to uh, the kind of person that whatever people say sinks into them but a young person or an elderly person my big sister my big brother watching me right now i want you to psych your mind psych your brain that no matter what you do it is not everybody that will please you but if only what you are doing is in line with what god wants you to do continue doing it don't change whom you are and don't change what you are doing because people are insulting you or people are talking about it because you know what people will always talk people will always talk they will always talk they will always have something to say so this afternoon i just came your way to alert you or remind you that don't try to compromise your standard to meet people's needs no just be in line be on point do what you're supposed to do don't live a life that will please people live a life that will please god live a life that is on the line of god and you wouldn't have any problem because you know what if you are living a life that is pleasing people and you are you are on a different path with god you will never you may be looking all all nice you may be looking all progressing now but that progress will not last yes if you are living a life that is out of the line of god if you've reduced your standard to a standard that is to the world then be very sure and be very convinced this afternoon that you might feel that you are okay you might feel that you've gotten all that you've been toiling to get but those things will never last because of how you have reduced your godly standard to meet the needs of men there are a lot of people out there that will feel that um i'm a christian and let's say because or whom you are or how you are you meet somebody then the person tells you that do this and i'll let you become this mm. do this and i'll let you become this for instance you are a young lady watching me right now this issue when you talk about it a lot of people feel like a, a being too older and then now can know what is wrong is wrong what is no it's a big big no Maybe you are, you are a young lady watching me right now. And then you are at a state that you are cohabitating. Okay? You are cohabitating. It means that you are with a man, but the person is not married to you. 
anytime you raise these kind of issues, you get a lot of people fighting you that, yes, sometimes it's because the person is stuck. It's because the person is the person is that. The question is, is wrong? Is it not wrong? Yes, it's wrong. You see? So if you find yourself in a situation that, you know, you are so stuck, if you are not careful, you compromise and you go like, oh, let me just do this to get this. Then at the end, I will stop. There is nothing like that. You can't say that you want to reduce your standard and then go naughty, do nasty things, and then later on I will change. You hear a lot of people saying that me when, when I'm a, when I'm not I'm a Christian, but sometimes I would want to switch and you know do what I like, live a life that is ungodly. Okay, they live a life that is ungodly, and then. They feel that, let me go and live this life. When, when I'm okay, when I get all that I want from the world, then I'll just go ahead and what? I run back to Christ or run back to my, uh, the other me. That is, they are Christian them. Okay? The question is, what happens if in the process of you getting whatever you would want to get, or you compromising to the bad things that you feel will help you? What happens if in case you, you lose your life in the process? Would you say that when you get there, would you tell God that God, I was just going to test it. I was, I was just going to get something from the world. Afterwards, then I was, I planned I'll run to you. No, that is why you must not reduce your standard to please any person. Don't reduce your standard to please anybody. Because no matter what you do, people will still get something to say about you. So just be you. This afternoon, I want you to get two things. Just be you. And don't reduce your standard or change the godly values you have because you want to please a man or a woman. No. Don't try it. Because the moment you do that, you, you've lost yourself. So, please and please and please again. Don't change the godly value you have just to please a man or a woman that comes your way. Rather, be on your, your feet. Stand on your standards. Yes, you must stand and then have a, a, a strong decision of everything you do. That will make you superb. That will make you different from any other person around you. Thank you so, so much for your time. You can follow us on all social media handles. Remember, here on Facebook, Smart TV, Twitter, Smart TV, GH, Instagram, Smart TV, GH. YouTube as much TV change. Remember to like, to comment, and share. Until I come your way next week, Tuesday, this same time. Take care of yourself and do have a great day. My name is Emma Fa, and the program is motivational here on March TV.